Is it time to finally do the high stakes tournament after all this time in the passive flora? Which I actually didn't realize it was here. I guess I hadn't run that far yet. No strong cards, no gold kings. Shan't be entering, shall we? Do we not know the rules? That I've coin a plenty. Then I suggest you return with better cards and buy some more suitable attire. Cheer! Oh, do I have to change clothes? Sure. Yes. How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? Cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? We can. Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. The match will start soon, but the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! Does this cold mess with his hearing? Because he got my name wrong. Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. You want to get that checked out? Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Hmm. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but that is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tibble. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. Alright, so I've been warned periodically to actually save ahead of time on this quest. Let's go ahead and do that. And to, uh, I should save after every victory, because you can actually fail this quest, is what, I, what's it, what it sounds like, at least. I heard you don't like talking to people, so I'm going to talk to you first. What? Play in tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee-haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You would likely to advance that far, mutant. Okay, he's friendly. I like him. Let's, let's, let's go out and back and have a friendly conversation. I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> you really a farmer? Why not look it? I've got a little farmstead just outside the city. We sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good. The worm's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, so I'll get my throat slit in over ground. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. 
best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> Can I follow his smell? Witcher sense? Oh, I can't follow his smell anywhere. I wanted to see if it was going to lead to something, like some sort of surprise. So he's probably not actually a farmer, he's probably messing with us. It's kind of a bad lie if, it's, if he is lying, because, uh... I don't know, he's like, oh yeah, he just plays for fun, and pays a thousand goddamn crowns to get in. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. And see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. A warning about Sasha. Also, very little actual conversation about among those three. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By close, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy. -in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and... Achoo! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Really? You're telling me the four characters they introduced me to and had me talk to are facing against four people that I've never heard of and two of which have generic bowl cuts and that I'm never going to talk to or get any character from. I'm completely shocked that there's a bunch of red shirts in the room to eliminate immediately. <laughs> Aha! We will be playing without light. What do you to say about that, Bernard? Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play! Hope you can see in the dark. Alright, so obviously I'm going to go back to Northern Realms, because that's my most powerful deck, generally. Uh, Monsters is fun for uh, cleaning up cards from randoms and having some variety, but this is my most successful deck, and this is the high-stakes tournament, the final boss fight, if you will, so I'm going to be playing in build. Hopefully I don't forget how to play my own class, because I haven't played this for a while, but... I'm hoping my spies will... Hello, spy! Scorch, Spy, Decoy, these are a good start. Stripes Commando, Dragon Hunters. Full, wow. Four heroes, including two high power ones. Little underwhelming in the, in the lack of special effects, though. Let's get rid of this guy, because he's kind of a duplicate, anyway. A Siege Tower, that's so boring. Oh, Commander's Horn, you've disappointed me, deck. You've disappointed me severely. It's really hoping for at least two spies. Instead, I have a collection of, of varying powerful cards. Alright, please, Dijkstra, please draw a spy. I need to ride this lightning. I don't have a single spy. I do have these three dudes, which could be scary. Oh, he has a spy, though. So, of course he does. He's got the best spy in the game. Oh, that's a bummer. I got a random number fucked. Alright, well... Let's see... Do I dare just throw a Scorch in immediately to deal with the fact that he has those two? If I throw in a Scorch, then he can't dummy my Dijkstra. Zero, zero. What you gonna do about it? Throw in a Trebuchet. Be my guest. So that's a six power card. I can safely play a weaker card without actually surpassing him. At least for now. And there's his medic. He's gonna revive Dijkstra, isn't he? 
I probably screwed myself there, didn't I? Ooh, but now I can dummy him. That actually worked out in my favor if I can use Dijkstra to draw another spy. Please? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be the most weird. Oh, he drew a Dijkstra of his own. Ah, and I can't throw I can't throw him back. Oh well. Now we have equal amounts of Dijkstra. Please draw another spy. Please draw another spy. Please draw another spy. That's not a spy. That's a medic. Maybe I can kill Dijkstra. Oh, he's got more of them. Well, the good news is, at the very least, after this round, I can use the medic to revive one of those spies. So at least I I will get another spy now. But I'll I'll have to wait till next turn because I can't kill them right now. I am currently winning, so there's that. Let's see. Although there's two fives on the board, so if he plays a Scorch, then he'll take me down to just Dijkstra anyway. So I should probably make things a little uneven. So that he's not mass murdering everyone on the board. Also, keeping units off the board for a while. He has another spy? God damn, he, his deck is basically my deck, isn't it? What does he have? His ability is to destroy your strongest, your enemy's strongest siege weapons if the combined strength of all of his are so... Oh, wow. So I don't want to pass 10 power on siege weapons or he'll destroy them. Alright, well I only have one siege weapon and it's an 8, so it's not too dangerous. Just have to be careful not to uh, let him surpass. He's got the card advantage now, which is not super encouraging. I'm wondering if I should just let him win this round at this point. Or if I should... Uh, throw in one card and pass and see how many more he's willing to throw in, but not commit any more to myself. All I have in here is Scorch, yeah? I have the porn advantage, so we'd have to play a bunch of cards to try to catch up at this point. Uh... I'll let him ch potentially drown under the weight of his own spies. And I'll go full force to win the following rounds if it takes that. He let me win the round. Interesting. I mean, I'm immediately going to grab one of those spies, because of course I am. Ooh! And then my, my victory card is another hero, so I can just go... From heroes alone, I can go up to 30... 60 power. That's pretty... That's kind of a big deal. We're going to go Medic. To draw more. So just to be sure, they all have the same... They, they all draw two cards each, right? Yeah, two from your deck. Well, th well, this is the weakest one, so obviously... Obviously the weakest one. That'll get me to 11 cards, catching me up. Still didn't draw a spy, did I? Oh well, I have so many hero cards I could potentially win the card just using them. So let's just start going full in with Siri and Geralt and friends. Come on, little halfling. Oh, you've got your own Siri. I see what you're doing. Fine. Two can play at this game or something like that. Got any weather cards, baby? Oh, wow, okay. He's... He's matching my exact heroes. I feel a little humbled there. What are you gonna do? Oh, wow. We're apparently in hero spam mode. Who can win the round with the, ho the strongest deck? Ooh, I just realized a problem. If I start playing Siege Weapons, he's going to destroy them, and I actually now have a surprising number of Siege Weapons in my deck. Let's see, one of them is more powerful than the other one, though. If your combined strength is 10 or more... Let's, I'll play the weaker one first. Let's see if he'll destroy that with this special effect. Because if he does, then I can play my stronger one afterwards, and it'll be safe. Throw in another hero. I really hope I have a more powerful hand than him. It's kind of... I easily could not. It's kind of scary, actually. Alright. Definitely squandered that, uh... I'm gonna say that I squandered that, uh... Scorch sooner than I probably should have. Ah! Uh, let's talk about numbers here. 5, 5, they could be 10, 10. Yeah, they could be 10, 10. And with the horn, they'll be 20, 20. For 40 power between these two cards, if I'm doing that math right. See, 5 doubles... They're 10 now, they'll double to 20, then they'll double to 40, yeah. But I don't want to go- I don't want to overpass my strongest card, so let's be careful with the rate at which we dole them out. I'll hold off on playing that combo as, as long as possible to avoid any potential Scorches. Biting Frost, that's fine, you can play all the weather effects you want, I'll just deal with those later. I'm also waiting for him to destroy this card, hopefully, because then I can play my more powerful Siege Weapon. Let's throw in one of these guys. 
You have any nasty tricks? Fog, yep. Keep layering on those weather effects. Every one of your cards that turns out to be a weather effect makes me happy, because it's another card that's ultimately worthless in your deck, and I am happy to see you waste it. Also, because you made this row weak, I can safely just throw these powerful cards in there without having to worry about you scorching them because they're weak right now, until later. Yay, he did the thing I told wanted him to do. Now I can throw in my more powerful siege weapon, which he may or may not also scorch, but who knows. He'll hopefully start running out of cards soon. The bad problem- the bad thing here is that he's going to have more cards than me. Uh, so if, he, if he's been holding on to a Scorch this whole time, I'll be in danger. Because I only, I only have one more move. So my next action has to be del delivering- getting rid of weather effects. Another Frost. He's, he, he could be stalling. Alright, this is what it all comes down to. If I get rid of the weather effects, I will be winning by a pretty big margin. But... If he has a Scorch in his hand, he can wipe out my most powerful cards and probably win the round. And at which point I won't have any more cards, so he wins the game. We'll see how it goes. No more actions to be done now anyway. Round passed. He also could just have another weather effect, but that'd be weird. Because he already played two of the same type. A Catapult? Another cat. oh, all he had was two Catapults. Oh my god! Right, he had tight bond catapults to play. That's impressive. We're starting over? Oh, yeah, he wins. He wins. Good job, but good job, buddy. Holy shit, I lost a Gwent match. That one hasn't happened for a while, huh? Especially not with uh, my actual deck. That he had he had some really powerful combos to throw at me. Ha! Who would have thought? Thank you for a game well played. So, how did you fare in the first round? Tournament's over for me, I'm afraid. Hmm, not necessarily. I have a proposition for you. Shall we discuss it upstairs? Lovely view from the terrace. Alright. Why not? Although if she tries to sleep with me, I have to say no because Yennefer... But also, I'm probably just gonna load that save in a moment here and just redo the whole thing anyway. And give that fight another shot, but let's see what happens. Just to see what's going on here. Oh, lots of food around here. Aha, you left the passive floor, you've been disqualified. Hmm, <laughs> alone at last. What did you want to talk about? A cartload of coin. That's the grand prize, you know. I can't speak for you, but I'd prefer it didn't land in the wrong hands. And luck can be so undependable. Frankly, one should simply take the coin, subtly, you know, without bothering the others. Huh. As propositions go, this is not exactly what I was expecting. You don't seem like a... Thief? True, it's not my day job. Which is why I could use some help. Why tell me? I'm a woman. I'm in need of that coin. And Geralt of Rivia would never abandon a woman in need. Or so I heard. Who'd you hear it from? Fringilla Vigo. She told me of your adventures in Beauclair. Apparently you're dependable. So long as the cause is just. Doesn't seem like a just cause to me. What if I told you my life depended on it? Wouldn't believe you. Frangilla also mentioned I'm easy to manipulate. <sighs> she said you could be trusted. Very well. I'll have to manage on my own. Anyway. Oh, d yep. Failed. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun to look into, but I want to actually win the tournament. Alright, let's give it another shot. I'm sure I'll do fine, or I'll- or I'll lose horribly. Two decoys and two What? Are you serious? Two commander's horns, two scorchers, and two decoys are in my starting hand? That's like 60% of my hand is special cards, duplicate- The random number generator is fucking with me, isn't it? And just- that's all of my units. I got four unit cards. 
Just g <laughs> At least I got one spy. Fuck. Ah. Uh, well, it's too many decoys. You're not really doing me a lot of favors right now, buddy. Uh, well, we know he has spies, so de keeping a decoy around will help. And if he plays a bunch of high power cards, the Scorchers can help wipe them out. So two Commander's Horns probably overkill. What did I get for that one? I got Yennefer. It's a medic at least. I guess I can kind of do something with- I'm fucked. I am fucked. Alright, let's hold on to those Scorches as long as possible. That's my only chance right now. Let him build up something. If I let him build up something really powerful and then use the Scorch to wipe it out, then I have a chance. What did I just draw? I drew a fucking... a tight bond character. Damn it. No spies. I have three different tight bond characters and none of the matching pairs. Oh man, I am in trouble. I am in so much trouble. Um, I have two medics. That somewhat helps with the number of unit cards because it means that two of them can come back next round after I've used them, but it's still not great because I have like nothing to work with here. Um, I, I guess I'll just start playing stuff. This is gonna be unfortunate. And he's decoying my... Oh, he's decoying my spy away to draw more cards. But I, the card he played is that super... Oh, he's got the super spy. Which I have too, but I'm not drawing it. I'm not drawing any spies. Well, he draws seemingly every spy. Which is not ideal. Uh... What you doing, buddy? Yeah, of course you're playing Stennis. Playing more cards and all that. Alright, well the good news is, if, since he did that with Stennis, at least now I can revive Stennis, technically getting another spy card. Uh, this is fucked. This is fucked. I might just throw this round. Yeah. He'll at least have to play a, another card or two to catch up. And I can revive Stennis to hopefully get the ball rolling in a moment here. Stennis and Thaler, I can revive both of those. That's good. That's good. That gives me something to work with. He threw two spies my way. If I revive both of them, then I could start dominating by do drawing a lot of cards if I'm lucky. Especially since those are... those are, uh... Wait, Stennis was from my deck, I think? But Thaler's from his deck, so I'm technically using a spy that's not from my deck. I can still draw my own Thaler when I, when I do that. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. This got... the, the difficulty of this tournament is... Shockingly out of whack with the rest of the game, actually, in difficulty. Hey, Thaler, come on out. What did I draw? I drew a Geralt, that's something, and I drew a Siege Tower. Just really hoping to draw a Spy! Alright, well, I'll throw my Siege card down. And see if I can get more Spies with the other Spy. Please, 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 please. Spy! I drew the Mysterious Elf. That's something. I can start drawing a real hand now. Who's he reviving? Another spy, probably? If he knows what he's doing. Nope, a siege tower. Maybe there's no sp Wait, there's no spies in his graveyard. Are there? Yeah, because he threw Stennis back at me already. Mysterious Elf. I think I still have one more spy to draw. Deekster, right? Three Scorches. Oh. That's silly to the point of parody, but I think I can do something with it. Let's see. If he Warhorns uh, strong enough, I can start... Doing that to his cards. Do I have a spy? Just these guys? If I use decoy, I can throw... I can get one of those other cards back out of the graveyard, but I don't know if there's any cards there I really want to get out of the graveyard. Really? Not really. Let's see, I have to be careful about siege weapons because his power will destroy them. Although if I... Let's see, I throw this guy out there. And I can still play these guys and Warhorn them afterwards. So let, let's bait out his power. Hopefully he'll destroy this row. If he destroy, My opponent has passed. Oh. Interesting. That, book is, that gives me an interesting situation. So I just need to play enough cards to pass him. Well, he has a 10 on the board. Let's just get rid of that with my numerous Scorches. Uh, then we just need to catch up. He's ahead of me by... 28. Which is basically just these two guys combined, more or less. 
Although he has already passed, which does give me the ability to play these cards without consequence, which is very tempting. Let's see, 8-8. Eight, eight. Play them together, they'll become 16-16, so 32 overall. Which would be enough to, to make up the gap. But it also throws away my Warhorn advantage. But I don't know how I'm going to... I don't see myself being able to use that Warhorn advantage anyway. Once, uh... Since I'll be out of unit cards anyway. You know what? Let's let's Warhorn. If I throw in a Warhorn... Well, I, I know I'm playing one of these regardless. Alright. So now he's winning by 20. These guys' combined power is... Shit, is it, is it just shy? Is it really just shy? It's 11... 19... So if I pull, put a Warhorn down, I'll gain 19 power, which is not enough to actually surpass him. Unless I were to Scorch one of his- No, I can't Scorch because my cards are more- or we, My cards are, uh... Stronger than his. Ah, oh, that Warhorn's pointless then. Damn it. Alright, well, bite the bullet. This'll give me the lead. And I can... Technically? I don't know. Uh, that was a mess. Win the round, please. Maybe I'll draw Dijkstra. That's not Dijkstra. That's Blue Stripes Commando. That's garbage. Ah. Well, I have one. I have one card more than him. All I can really do is start playing heroes, and uh, wait as long as possible to start scorching his units, which will hopefully be more powerful than mine, so I can scorch them away. Because that's all I really have in my hand. <gasps> you gave me another spy. This is getting interesting. All right. I'll take that. No regrets. Commander's Horn. That's an interesting place to use that. These matches got really intense all of a sudden. I wish there was actually more than this. I think... I don't know if there's, you can do more intense matches when this tournament's over. Suddenly I'm like really having... Compa hey, a matching pair! That's something at least. And at least it's more units for me to play. Which is definitely handy. Ooh, that back row of his is getting strong! Let's throw down some weak units, and I'm gonna wait as long as possible to Scorch. I have to be very careful not to make my characters too powerful, so that his characters are the ones that get Scorched in the end. Let's see, I can keep playing heroes to stall, because they're Scorch-proof, so I don't have to worry about how powerful they are. Oh, I think I can make this work. Eh, whatever. You Do you know what my special power is? <laughs> I'm not concerned about your weather. Just like last round, every time he plays a weather card, I'm very happy, because that means that one of his cards was pointless. Yay! Because the scariest thing of- Oh, he did the combo again. Uh, fuck are you. How's that feel, buddy? How's it feel to have 18 power again? Oh, I was waiting for that to happen. Are we gonna have fun? Also, at this rate, there's gonna be like one episode for every fucking round of this tournament. And I'm not that... I don't actually have that much problem with that. <laughs> this is fun. He's got a Scorch. Got an anti-melee Scorch that against a one-power enemy? Really? Oh, right. The combined power is ten, more, more, more than ten, I guess. Well, there goes that matching combo, I guess. That's kind of a bummer. Let's see. He can't use my... He can't use his hero card. Because I'm not ten yet. And he has less cards than me, so I can potentially... Ooh, another weather card. I think I won this time. He has less cards than me, so he shouldn't be able to do anything about the fact that, uh... I'm gonna buff that with a Warhorn in a moment. Let's see, he's got the most powerful card on the board again, so another Scorch! Because fuck you. That's right. Even though I'm winning, I can still keep Scorching his cards, because they're actually the powerful ones. He passed? Does he have nothing else to play? Alright, well, weather. Get rid of weather, then. Throw down this guy, who, whose matching pair died a horrible death, but I can still make this work. 66 to 25. Wow! I thought I was so screwed when I saw what I had in my hand, and I actually made it work. Although it was... That was about as close as it could possibly get, because I was just... <laughs> I was like, just barely hanging on with every potential spy usage as we were passing spies back and forth like lunatics. That's what happens when you have a mirror match with my, my crazy-ass deck.
I wonder if the other ones are going to suddenly be easier and like the and it's just a matter of Northern Realms being crazy or if I'm about to get a, a crazy lesson in just how brutal the other uh, themes can be. It's not lost on me that there's four decks in the game and four primary enemies, so I'm probably fighting the toughest deck of each possible deck. Congratulations. A bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time. That's what matters. He's actually going to steal it. So, how did you fare in the first round? Not bad. Guessing you won too. I've the distinct impression my opponent was drunk. Had an altogether decent hand, but... Might have had a hard time concentrating. Hmm. Care to finish this conversation in private? I have a proposition for you. Meet on the terrace upstairs. Alright. I'm noticing a trend here. Alright, we're apparently having this conversation again. I'll go ahead and save accordingly. Before we do this. She's walking directly into me. Do you have any manners, woman? Fine. Let's say I help you. I'll split the coin with you, of course. Split? What if I win the tournament? I shall have another proposition for you then. What's the plan? I shall tell you all when the time is right. For now, just stay alert. And if you are eliminated, stay till the tournament's end. It'll be worth your while. You'll see. All sounds pretty mysterious, but fine. Excellent. Now that's settled, let's rejoin the others. Well, alrighty then. We'll play along and see how this goes, but I'm planning on winning the tournament, you know. Don't want to alarm nobody. 